It's the lasting signs of the latest heat wave. Sidewalks around the region of Waterloo buckling from the hot temperatures. As CTV's Colton Weens explains, it's not a common problem, but cities around the region are responding to a number of issues. It's an issue that's risen up around the region of Waterloo this week. Sidewalks buckling or heaving, the impact of the extreme heat. Typically, those materials expand more than usual. If the sidewalk doesn't have enough room to expand or if joints are clogged or any sort of damage are, would be there, the pressure buildup actually forces the staff to eventually uh, lift or buckle up first. In the city of Waterloo, a portion of the sidewalk along Marsland Drive is closed after an issue there, while two spots on the sidewalk on Herb Street also buckled. We just saw like, a yeah. really big one right down there for the first time, and we're like, I don't know, I thought it, like, it looked like earthquake or something. First thing that comes to mind looking at this is like it's kind of annoying because you know you have to walk uphill and then you have to get over these kind of stupid bumps. The city is working on locating and fixing the issues but is also asking residents that come across an issue along the sidewalks to let them know. In the city of Cambridge, this sidewalk in West Galt buckled from the heat stress this week and another buckled in the Preston area. Officials saying while buckling has been rare in the city, it is always a possibility when there are very high temperatures and long periods of sun. Meanwhile, the city of Kitchener has also seen issues, saying some sidewalks saw heaving after the material in the slab expanded in the heat. The city says locations are typically marked, monitored, and replaced if necessary. And sometimes these areas will go back down on their own after the heat dissipates, but sometimes they'll require further intervention. I can definitely see anybody with, you know, maybe a wheelchair or something like that, or somebody with some type of a disability not being able to get around it. Hopefully they get it fixed up. I think that'd be nice. And with extreme heat events happening more often in the community, experts say they are researching new ways to try and prevent this. How to make small adjustments in the joint design and drainage and all those stuff that hopefully will somehow help out with resolving this issue or minimizing the impacts as we experience more of this sort of events. Colton Weens, CTV News.